Hello and welcome to another train view video. Today I'm doing the class one, one of Lima. Now, Lima or Lima or upgrade oh, for actually running the train. But for detail, they're usually quite good. Now, this I did not buy new. I bought um second hand. Apparently it hadn't been ran, but just repainted into this livery, which is the British Rail blue and um, silvery. Kind of just trying to actually open the box here. I'm, I'm, I'm so stupid. There's still a tape on the end. I'm gonna try and open it from this side. Hold on, so it's one on that one. It's one way down on that end. And yet it's if way on this end. The box and hold on, it's actually says something. Painted eight five oh two five. Okay, so it's I'm guessing class one two one one two five is the set. One says 125 on the P125. If we get that and um, have a look at the detail. <coughs> Sorry about my voice, if it's, diff it's, it's a bit different than normal. It's because I've got a bit of a sore throat. Right, so. Paintwork just feels so smooth, and the doors are feeling magnificent. I don't actually know why I was shaking, but um, I think with my foot being in the air, but it was shaking because of that. So, paintwork is smooth, where every single little tiny bit of riveting is, or well, riveting above the doors and windows is magnificent. Feels smooth, or well, nice, along here where everything is. There is amazing. The undercarriage, quite amazing. Now I've actually run this before, um, but the first time I ran it, it didn't actually run smooth or well. So I had to get um this to connect to it. Like that and pull it, and then it kind of ran better and better. So I actually paid thirty nine pound fifty for this from um the foot plate in Kidminster. Um, that is an actual amazing treasure trove. Um, actually, if you look on the roof, it that is actually quite realistic. Now these do have another name. The um, bubble car, mainly because, well, they look a bit like a bubble. It's not DCC fitted, these buffers are not spring, and um, well, I'm actually rating for a DCC control, well, rating to order on from um, Hatton's for £63D. Um, Oh, the um, one that's a bit like that other than has the numbers and the screen where you can program it from 1 to 99. No, 1 to 59 I think and then 60 to um, 99 for other things. But this, quite nice. Motor just here above this bogey. Very, very small. If you actually look from this end, you can see it. Now, I'm not happy that there's no cab detail on this end. When there is on this end, you can actually see little handles in there. And along, up until here, 
is actually an interior detail. Oh, there's seats, and then just behind them seats is the motor. And on the door it says guard. Here it says the um, carriage number. Just a basic one car. And um, that's basically it for detail. I'm going to recommend it. Uh, well, not recommend it. I, um, comment it a 9 out of 10. So if we get down onto the track now. <laughs> oh, and this is well, what I'm hoping to be just a temporary layout. And my, co my room colour, I'm actually planning on changing to red. Because I'm planning on getting rid of that, which was my sister's. That, which was my sister's. This, which was my sister's. This hat, which was my sister's. A lot of this stuff was my sister's. Well, I might do a review on this. I know it says H.O., but I, it does actually fit on to the track. But, um, it's not about that. It's about this. Right, so, if we just make sure that oh, the wheels are on the track. On the track, uh, on the track. Not on the track. There we go, on the track. Now these actually do fall off these couplers. Well, this bit of them. So, just to put it back on, I'll um, show you. And well, by taking it off, you have to put it in like that, and then do that, and then where there's a little hole, just push and get as new. Right, so anyway, get on the track. Right, so give her a bit of power. It's not a very smooth start. This is only about 75% power. And it's not smooth at all. Now that's much smoother. We we'll wait for it to get around. This has just been a below 100% power. Speed up even more. In the face of the camera, of course, that way. Um, now, if we have a look what she's like coming in this way, in the opposite direction. And I think I've just created a short because when I turned this, it made the noise, but it didn't actually run. about how much is on there and if you actually look on here there's the exhaust it's a bit loud like so she goes at an average speed and if I was talking about my layout over here is Hang on, getting it level with the window sill here, and then just doing it to about here, which is about that far from the door, and then um, making this so you put it open from here and slide it along. So I'll have to install something there and along the corner there, I'm guessing. And then um, this, and then the nice. Um, Shirt. If you couldn't tell, I also like buses. Right, so, um, it's basically it for this. Next week, I will be reviewing this coach model by Cordy. And, um, yeah, that's it. So, thanks for watching, and, um, have a great time.